101,666 kids in the U.S. alone are waiting to be adopted right now. Today, I'm going to talk to you about adoption. We're going to talk about what adoption is, a step-by-step -step on how the whole adoption process works and what you have to do to actually adopt or be adopted. And we're going to also talk about how this process can affect the child. So let's get started. What is adoption? Adoption is um, where one person will move from one family to another. Normally this is with children, but this could also be with adults. I have a friend that I work with who is currently 19 and has been adopted by someone else. And normally the person that's adopted or the adoptee would be a child that has been abandoned by a family member, by the parents, or in foster care for some reason or another, or in a different case, which I'll touch on later, um, is just um, a case of identity. So let's get into the step-by-step. -step. The first step to adoption is you have to select an adoption agency. The, there's many different ones, such as Graceful Adoptions and the Adoption Connection. Next, you have to do home studies with this adoption. Uh, place and so the home study they will come into your home take notes on what you do how your home is and this will help uh, with your next step which is finding the child this is going to be the hardest step but also the most, most important when it comes to adop adoption because you want to find the right child and the child wants to right, find the right family step four is paperwork there is a lot of paperwork when it comes to adoption, not only just for when you find all the agencies, but after that, going into the next step. Step five is finally getting accepted, because when you do find your child, um, you're going to have to be accepted by the other uh, agency. Step six is the first initial meet. So this is when the child, this is normally with foster care kids and um, different things like that. This is where you will first meet the child, the child will meet you, and yeah. Step seven is placement day. This is when the child will be placed into your home and into your care, or vice versa, even if you're the adoptee, this is when you will meet the family. And step eight in the final step, step is finalization. This is where you finish all your paperwork and you finally finalize and the child is considered legally yours and you have all legal parenting rights. Next is the effect on children. The, the effects um, are hard for the child but it's also a sense of goodness because as a child growing up and especially in foster care you're searching for a family and so that, that can be very good. But studies have shown um, that they can feel anger, depression, and even a loss of identity. And every situation is different. That's one thing that everyone should keep in mind when it comes to this kind of topic. Me personally, I was almost adopted. Not quite. It's, if you notice, some of you people have known me for a long time. My last name used to be Lewis, but it changed. And I can definitely attest to each of these feelings because losing a blood parent, someone that you're biologically related to, can be a very confusing and hard situation because not only are you going into a new family, and that's its own struggle on its own, but you're also losing half of yourself almost because there's a whole other family out there that you have no idea who they are. You have one other problem that comes to um, being adopted is you lose your medical history when you cannot find your blood parents. And I personally have half of my medical history is gone because my biological father was also adopted. So quick recap, um, today we talked about what is adoption, we talked about how to do it, and we talked about kind of why and how it affects children. Hopefully someday we can take that number of 100 and, 
1,666 down to 101,665. Thank you.